Right, the next bunch of shapes that you need to be able to work at the area of are trapeziums. Um, and this is one of the few formulas that you are given on the front of the exam paper. It looks like this. Okay, what we have are a pair of parallel sides, which in the formula are A and B, and H, which is the perpendicular distance, the right angle distance between them. Then the formula is given half, bracket A plus B, close bracket H. What that means is you're gonna add your two parallel sides together, multiply that by the distance between them, and then half your answer, okay? So let's have a look how we do that in practice. So with this question, the two parallel sides are 8.2 uh, 8 and 12.8. So the area is going to be a half, 8.2 plus 12.8 times h, the distance between them, 7.6. So if we just substitute in, as we see on the formula, that's what we get. Now, on our calculators, if we wanted to, we could just write it in the same way that it is there. So there's our half, open bracket, 8.2 plus 12.8, close bracket, 7.6. Doesn't work. Okay, so what we need to do is put a times in there. So if we've got half, 8.2 plus 12.8, times 7.6 and press equals there's our answer so we need on the calculators that we use to put a times there 79.8 and the units will be centimeters squared you could do it in more than one stage if you don't want to do it that way always do the adding first so we can do 8.2 plus 12.8 equals 21 times 7.6 which is 159.6 and then divide by 2 to half it and there's your answer 79.8 so let's take a look at question 6 it's a trapezium AB is parallel to DC um, the distance between them is 6 and we need to find the area of the trapezium and again in this question stating clearly the units of your answer so if you don't put the units in you're going to lose a mark right so the area will be a half of 17.5 plus 23 those are your two parallel sides times 6 so on your calculator fraction button half open bracket 17.5 add 23 close bracket remember it won't work unless you put the time uh, symbol in times six so it looks almost identical to what we've written there press equals turn it into decimal 121.5 clearly stating the units of your answer centimeters squared Okay, two more trapezium questions. Area is a half, open bracket, so our parallel sides here are three and seven, and the distance between them is 2.8. I would think that this question is off a non-calculated paper because of the numbers that were given here. Okay, what we've got is three add seven is 10, so half, times 10 times 2.8 when you're multiplying by 10 that's going to move that one way one space to the left of the decimal point so we get a half times 28 which is 14 centimeters squared okay so these could come up on the non-calculated paper so you need to make sure that you don't rely completely on using a calculator to answer these questions. Question eight, same again, it's a trapezium. This time the parallel sides are 18 and 16. So we've got a half, 18 and 16, 
times the distance between them, which is 8. We go back to using our calculator for this one. So again, let's make it look exactly the same as the way we've written it. So it's going to be half open bracket 18 plus 16 times 8, 136 centimetres squared. So that's area of trapezium.